Hello, everybody. We're going to finish up our order of operation stuff by doing a little bit of coloring. So, for those of you who have not used this program before, this is called Kami. K-A-M-I. Um, you may have used it in some of your other classes. If not, we're going to learn how to use it right now. Uh, now, when you open the assignment, it should have automatically opened up in Kami. So, um, when you're using it, the idea behind this worksheet is that we got a picture of a snowman here, and it's not colored in, and we're going to change that. So you see all throughout this picture, we got some expressions that we can evaluate using our order of operations. Okay, And what do we do? We should get one of these numbers, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 17, or 19, and that'll tell us what color to color that section. If we do not get one of these colors, well, that means we made a mistake. So you might want to go back and check, figure out what you did wrong. You should be getting one of these seven numbers. Okay, so let's do one together to see how it works. If I look at this mitten right here, I got the expression 66 divided by 5 plus 1 in parentheses. So if we use our order of operations, we know that we have to do parentheses first. So 5 plus 1 is 6. Well, once we do that, there's only one more operation, the division. So 66 divided by 6 is 11. Okay, so when we solve this, we get 11, which is green. All right, so I want to color this mitten green. To color it green, you're going to go over here to the left side and down to Drawing. And you're going to pick green. Now, it might be one of the colors that shows up there automatically. If not, you might need to go to this color palette at the bottom. It says More Colors. And you can pick whichever color you want there. Okay? I got a shade of green, so I'm going to go ahead and use that. Now, when I go to color with this, um, you're going to want to set your stroke thickness to all the way up to 12. So if you click on this, if you have one of these smaller numbers, it's going to be really hard to color because it's going to draw a really thin line. So you want to set it all the way up to 12. It's good for coloring. Okay. Now when you go over to color the uh, mitten, you might see something like this happen. Well, what is happening here? Do you see how as I'm coloring it, it's, it's covering up the text? Well, we don't want that. We want to be able to still see the problem. If this is happening, what you need to do is you need to turn down your transparency. Okay, so you click on this transparency button, you can just scroll it down there. Okay, and now we should be able to see, when we drive, we should be able to see through it. Okay, so if I make a mistake like this and I want to clear it, all I need to do is click on the eraser and click on what I want to erase. Okay, now that that's erased, I can go back to my drawing. I have my transparency set lower, so I should be able to color it without covering things up. So let's give it a shot. So you see now when we color, we can still see through it to see the problem. Okay, so I'm going way all the way around, try to stay within the lines. Make it nice and neat expert color as you can see okay so here we go i got a green man so you're going to go through for each one of these expressions here find out what color that uh, part of the picture is and uh, color it that color then you should be able to submit this assignment should be pretty easy all right happy coloring everybody